Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to be taking you through an assignment I like to do in my Canvas online courses. So if you're an educator using Canvas, then this video is for you. It's also part of my series that I'm doing on my YouTube channel called Canvas Tutorials for Online Learning. If you missed any, check them out. If this video is helpful for you, please consider giving it a like, a thumbs up, click the subscribe button so you don't miss any more videos in the future. I've got new videos coming out every single week here on my YouTube channel, which is for multi hyphen artists. This introduce yourself to the class assignment is something I always do in my online classes. It's a really a great way for you to get to know the students, but for the students to learn a bit about the program and how to utilize Canvas for the first time in case they haven't done something like this before. So it's a great way to start your class. You can make it worth points or no points. Let me show you how I do it right now in Canvas. So here is the introduce yourself to the class. This is from an old class from last year that I taught online. You just go under assignments, but let me show you what it looks like first so you get an idea. So this was introduce yourself to the class. I said, welcome to the semester, take a moment to check the recorder. And then I gave them the bullet points of what I want them to do in the assignment. So tell us your name, where you're from, make sure you have Flash Player installed on your computer. You could also upload a picture. You can use the video, audio, or photos and have fun with this. Just let us know a little more about yourself. So what I do is I just give them um, some examples. They can use a photo, they can use a video, they can do an audio, really whatever they feel comfortable enough showing. I wouldn't require them to do any of any of the video or audio because they may not be comfortable showing their face or their voice in this online class and that's okay. But I did notice that a lot of students take these online classes from all over the world, all over the country, or they're based in one state and they're on vacation in another country. So it's really exciting to kind of let them connect and if they feel comfortable, they can do it. So I laid out the bullet points and then um, they just went down and they would put the photos just like a thread. So this really is an, a discussion that you would create in your discussion assignments. It's a great way for them to create community and for them to be able to the entire semester, they can go down the feed and see who else is in the class and kind of where they're from and get to know a little bit about them. So let me show you how to create this. So of course you wanna to go to discussions. You're gonna add a discussion. Let me click edit here so you can see a little behind the scenes of mine. I did actually make this one worth points because it's the first assignment that I give them. So they get points for it, but also it's a way for them to just kind of get introduced to everything about the online teaching platform and for me to get to know a little bit about them too. So I did this as a discussion, you can tell. If you missed my discussion video, I will um, link it down below in the description for you. Again, put the bullet points, what you want them to do. Um, I allow threaded replies, and then I didn't, I didn't make them post before seeing the reply. Now this may be something that you wanna do, but I wanted them to feel comfortable so they could see that other people were commenting on the thread and that they felt comfortable to do it the first time. After I do this discussion post, I make them comment, or I make them post their discussion post before they can see what everyone else has already done. But this one, I let them see it as they, as they get posted. I did make it graded. Again, you can choose not to, and I allowed liking so everybody else can give them thumbs up. Speaking of thumbs up, if this video is helping you so far, give me a thumbs up right down here on YouTube. Um, I made it points. You can make it points or not. I I usually do percentage, but again, you can do points or complete or incomplete. They did it or, or didn't do it. I added it to a, an assignment group, and then I made it do. I made it everyone had to do it, and then I gave them a due date. And I make I gave them two days to do this because this online class I think was only like six or eight weeks long, so we needed to kind of move faster than a normal sixteen week class. So that's really how I created it. And then what's really exciting is that you can kind of see the students start to get excited about introducing themselves before they've even done the first quiz or the first exam. I hope this idea allows you to be more creative in your classroom and gives you a starting grounds for every single class that you do online in Canvas. Create community, create support, and create a safe atmosphere so they know how to use Canvas to the best of their abilities. So they're successful in the class. If this video is helpful for you, please give it a like, a thumbs up, subscribe so you don't miss any more videos. It really does help my channel and it helps me reach all of those folks out there that really need help with Canvas and also multi-hyphen artists like myself, an actor, director, and educator. If you have any questions, let me know and I will see you at the next video. All right, take care.